Good evening, YouTube. Uh, this is Samana Two One Eight Three. Uh, Andrew Basuka uh, in uh, Facebook or Andy Basuki. Uh, I'm going to talk to you guys today uh, about some things that I use uh, for uh, water maintenance for this tank and all my tanks, as well as uh, some things that you guys might be find useful. You know, if you you guys want to uh, set up a black water tank and all that. Stay tuned. Alright guys, uh, I managed to uh, obtain the Seacam Purigen. Uh, this will be, you know, as many of you guys use uh, this product, it's going to be good, I mean like, uh, to help uh, with my uh, 165 gallon tank, uh, to keep the water clean and uh, nice, as well as, you know, to keep the water parameters stable, and, you know, free of all the troubles that, uh, you know, if you guys uh, don't have it. You do. I mean, like, do you guys? I mean, have I've uh, watched reviews. I mean, like from many people, even Jay Wilson, like uh, IFG. Uh, shout out to you guys. Thanks for in uh, recommending me this product. Uh, I've been, you know, trying to use this. I'm um, like, I've been debating whether or not to use this, but uh, a lot of you use this in your canisters and probably your sums as well so i thought you know i'd like to give it a try all right uh, let me put this in first uh, before i talk to you guys more about uh, what i use uh, for water maintenance and uh, everything all right guys uh, the first product that I use for my water maintenance, as you guys know, is Seacam uh, Prime. Uh, now this guy, uh, you know, this is something that you guys use. I mean, like uh, I know that uh, I have, uh, you guys have uh, the pro the Seacam Safe as well, but unfortunately, uh, the product that uh, the Seacam Safe is not available in here in Indonesia, even though it's. It saves a whole lot more. So the only one, the only thing that I have uh, for uh, water maintenance is a uh, prime. Another one that I use is a uh, stability to add to you know to the beneficial bacteria uh, after every water change, which is good. I also I am also planning to get clarity and. Uh, Pristine to add to the water maintenance uh, products from Seacam that uh, I really have right now. Uh, there's one more uh, product that uh, resembles uh, stability over here. Uh, let me just show you in a little bit. Hey guys, uh, this is the product that I'm talking about. Uh, this is PS Bio. It's uh, bottled bacteria as well. Uh, the re the difference being is that this is not made by you know CCAM, but it's more of uh, I think uh, it was judging by the writing, it's uh, locally made or maybe um, maybe a Thai product. I'm not sure, but a lot of people have been using this product as a biological uh, additive. Uh, for starting your tank or perhaps you know uh, uh, seeding your filter media uh, in your pond filters as well as your aquarium filters now I mean like once uh, this is done I mean like you, you, you know you can uh, move on to you know make your tank more mature and all that. Now, I also have uh, this, the Seacam Stress Guard to, you know, help with the healing of fish. I mean like, as well as, you know, I'm planning to get, as I mentioned earlier, pristine clarity, probably, you know, garlic guard and, and M guard if it's possible, it's available. Now you might ask that, you know, isn't it overkill? I mean like you, you, you have this so many products in 
uh, for water, water maintenance and everything. But as you can tell by many people, no, it's not. You know, some of these products, it's not necessary, but it's good to have because, you know, you don't know, you seriously don't know when tragedy might strike or, you know, there's a sudden unknown death in the aquarium or maybe sudden, you know, when you are away for so long, sometimes when you go on a trip, you don't know what's going to happen or you don't know what might happen in during that time you might be gone. So, I mean like, having these kinds of stuff lying around, even inside your, you know, cabinet, uh, near your aquarium and all that is very, very useful. So that, you know, in any uh, kind of situation, you might be able to react. But as always, <clears throat> this done does not excuse you, you know, from doing uh, your maintenance on your tanks because to be honest, I mean, as long you do maintenance on your tanks, nothing will happen. I mean, like, not, it's not like nothing will happen. I mean, like, it minimizes the chances of, you know, like ammonia spikes, uh, nitrates and nitrates building up, you know, and which can kill your fish and you know how that sucks. I mean, like, especially, you know, you invested so much time, so much money on, you know, building your sun, purchasing your filter, you know, getting every, your dream fish inside your aquarium, and then just because, you know, you got get lazy and, and all that, then suddenly, poof, boom. You know, you suddenly find yourself losing a whole lot of fish, and you, you will feel, you know, feel guilty because you know you should have done your job properly. Okay. Yeah, that's about it for you know, water maintenance. Another thing that I like to talk about is something that you guys might find useful, uh, especially you know if you guys. Uh, it's more like a product review, uh, but uh, for those who like to set up uh, tanks that you know have softer water, or you maybe re recreate a black water condition for discus and maybe some. Uh, soft water fish just hold on now uh, the first uh, product that I currently use is this is a zoo plus Amazonian uh, triple black water extract uh, it's a good product I mean like I've uh, asked around uh, for you know one of the biotech groups because the reason why I had this product is that if you notice that tank that I have now is a real Orinoco biotope but before that it was a more of a real negro setup so being a real negro you know that uh, the water is uh, almost very tea like uh, tea in color uh, black water although mine is not very very black water it's not very acidic but uh, to recreate that kind of environment you need uh, some you know peat I have some leaf litter uh, in the past but it's not doing its job I mean like you know it, it just turns uh, the water just light a uh, light yellow color maybe slightly dark yellow but that's about it and uh, somebody uh, re recommended me this product uh, I've used it only for a bit, but uh, I might, you know, keep this around just in case uh, I need to make, you know, another black water uh, set up uh, somewhere down the road. Another product that, you know, I've seen people use for their discus tanks uh, is this. It's made by Sarah. I mean, like, this might not last long. It probably, uh, if I'm not wrong, is. Uh, it only, only lasts around six months, but uh, it helps a lot to recreate that, you know, aesthetic uh, pH that, you know, that you might need. So, I mean, like, uh, you should try to check this out. I mean, these two products, maybe I'll just uh, put the link uh, of 
them inside the description later as well as uh, some shout outs when I do the shout outs and everything uh, be sure to check out the description box uh, I'll try to put in the links to start and start with some information on these products on the description yeah all right uh, now I'd like to make you know some quick shout outs uh, the first Shout out goes to uh, David's fish, ta fish tanks. Uh, guys, you should check out his channel. He has a very mixed number, you know, mixed uh, number of fish, including you know some uh, community tanks, some African cichlids, and um, you know some you know African cichlids, some community tanks, and you know his. I saw his, so seen his videos, he has a variety of fish uh, keeping there. Uh, you can you know, check his channel out and you know, help him get to you know, 150 subs because I feel that you know, his channels are great. And he's a growing channel and he puts out very good content to me. So yeah, do help support him guys. The next one uh, person that I like to shout out is like Dwayne Kitchell. Uh, he's an older gentleman, uh, but an uh, old school uh, fish keeping kind of guy. But the good thing, I, the thing I, I admire and respect about him is like, even that you know he's an older gentleman, he shows that you know something that we should you know try to do, and I think we are all doing it. He's like, even at his, you know, age, he's still learning, you know, he's still trying to improve, which is, I think, something that, you know, we all should do, because, you know, the moment you stop learning, you know, that's it, that's it, I mean, like, if, because, you know, the thing that I, I feel is like, as I shared this tip before, uh, during Ben's, Ben Ochart's million subs giveaway contest. You know, you you should you know probably uh, say to uh, realize yourself. You know you should probably tell your uh, tell yourself or maybe realize that you know you don't know everything. You don't know everything. I mean, even I'm I'm still learning from you guys. I'm like I'm learning from Jay Wilson, IFG. John Hudson, I mean a lot of people, there's a lot of people who are putting awesome, awesome content uh, into the internet. You know, you should, you know, be open-minded about this stuff, you know, so that your journey as a fish keeper uh, would, you know, go forward from here and, you know, learn more and learn more and, you know, the process of learning doesn't stop uh, just because, you know, you're, you're, you're of a certain age. To me, that's the most uh, important thing. No matter what what uh, what it applies to that, and that I feel is also includes fish keeping. JK Aquatics, guys, you know he's a new newbie fish keeper, but you know he's a great guy. I feel he's a great guy. He's putting his content out there, uh, so do support him. I mean, like he's. Uh, I feel that what he said in, in one, of, one of his videos is correct. I mean, subs don't mean anything. I mean, like, it's the content you, that you put out there, and the information that you put out there. You know, you don't know, you might not know everything, but you know, at least try to share what you have, what you think, and what you have experienced with others. It might just help, you know, others in, you know, getting a second opinion or maybe learn, get letting others grow. He has very awesome crayfish. I mean, like, uh, uh, by the way, I mean, like, I, I don't see many, you know, crayfish keepers on uh, YouTube. I mean, like, so far, the ones I see is, you know, just your community fish, you know, cichlids, African cichlids from your Malawi and Tanganyika uh, shell dwellers and to your, you know, beasties like, you know, monster fish tanks and, you know, Oscars, South American, Central American cichlids, but, you know, you don't really, you know, really see, you know, crayfish keepers 
that much. So you know, go check it out. I'm mean, like, although I, I think he does mention his uh, crayfish is kind of camera shy. So you know, uh, yeah. I mean, like, that's. I think that's cute. I mean, like, you know, camera shy crayfish. But anyway, yeah. Uh, moving on. Last but not least, guys, I'm. Uh, I have some future plans, uh, but I don't know whether you, you guys will approve or you, whether you guys think it's, it's a good idea. But first, uh, I'd like to say something. You know, Mitch, uh, Channel Secrets, uh, you and uh, David mentioned about my several dollars over there, my red hooks and uh, my emperor blue hooks or white bar. Uh, Sean Burkai or White Bar Milius. You know, I just might, you know, that's that uh, introduction, that video is coming. Uh, I don't know when, but I'm, I'm already planning to make it one, so uh, you should stay tuned for that. You know, uh, some, uh, it just might come up anytime, you know, when I uh, put it up. I'll just let, I will let you know. I will let you know when, when it's up. The second thing that uh, I like to do or plan to do. Sorry for that. Is you know, I like to get a tripod. I'm like, I'm planning to get the tripod after you know. So many guys told me that yeah, you know, IFG told me to get a tripod. I've asked a few of my uh, friends. You know, should I get a tripod or not you know, for for this? I'm like, yeah, you should, you should, you should. I mean, because it's. You know, it makes your uh, videos more stable. And uh, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm planning, I'm already ordering one. So, be look forward. I hope that, you know, with that, that tripod, it's going to be, my videos going to be, you know, uh, stable and everything. Uh, last but not lot, lot least, I'm planning, if, if this, if it, meet, it, if it meets your approval, I mean like, or you think it's a good idea, I like to, you know, make some uh, book reviews. I mean, like of the things I have, the book, the fish keeping books I have uh, that I've collected, sort of. So I mean, like, do let me know in the comments later whether you know should I do it. I mean, like, should I go ahead and you know make a you know weekly review or you know do a book review of, over you know once in a while and everything. As always, like guys, the links to those guys I made shout outs, I will put them, post them in the description below. And uh, till another, another time, this is uh, Summoner2183 signing out. Bye bye.